I'm Jane King for The Street from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. Hurricane Irma continues to pound Florida and is headed to Georgia and the Carolinas. It's now been downgraded to a Category 1 storm and could reach tropical storm status later today. Nearly 4.9 million Floridians are without power. Meanwhile, Lowe's and JCPenney say they're looking to hire about 2,000 workers each in the region impacted by Hurricane Harvey. Well, the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange will have a moment of silence remembering the anniversary of the September. September 11th terrorist attacks today. Also, police and firefighter charities will ring the opening bells to begin the day's trading. Here at the NASDAQ, Answer the Call, which provides financial assistance to families of New York City first responders killed in the line of duty, will ring the opening bell. And Dow Futures pointing to a higher start as fears ease over North Korea. North Korea failed to conduct another missile test over the weekend, as some had predicted might happen. Reuters reports the UN Security Council is set to vote today on a new resolution to impose new sanctions on North Korea over its latest nuclear test, but it's unclear whether China and Russia will support it. Well, happening today, the Pediatric Advisory Committee will meet to discuss the use of prescription opiate products in pediatric patients. Paragon Pharmaceuticals reports earnings after the closing bell, and Lane Christensen also reports its quarterly results. That's a wrap for us, but be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com. At the Nasdaq market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.